Hi and welcome back to the Joyful Soul Creates. Charlotte here and I'm so glad you could join me today for another Skull and Crossbuns design team project. This time I'm working with three stamp sets, the Tropical Party stamp set, Quirky Sentiments and also a little bit of the Brush Hearts stamp set. And um, I'm also going to be using the Speech Bubble embellishment. This one is in black. So to start off I will adhere the embellishment to a snippet of white cardstock using glossy accents which is a nice strong glue. And I'll just quickly use a pin to go around and remove any glue that seeped out from underneath. And then I will cut away the speech bubble from the larger panel of white card. I used my craft knife for this because it was to hand but scissors would have been so much easier. And then I put an acrylic block on top of it just to hold it in place whilst it's set. I'm going to trim down the rest of that panel of white card to use for my focal panel on my card. I wasn't sure what size to do it but I ended up doing I think seven centimeters square. I just kind of guesstimated how big it would need to be and it worked out so that's good. Then I will do my stamping on the square. I did pull out my misty but I'm actually not using it as a stamping tool. It's just kind of giving me a good base for stamping on. And I'm going to use some Simon Says Stamp Ink to stamp out the small hello from the Tropical Party stamp set. And this is a nice orange ink. And I have positioned my square at an angle to add the sentiment because this is more of a decorative panel than a sentiment panel. So it doesn't need to be straight. And having it at an angle my um, stamping at an angle means that it's less obvious if I make any mistakes um, if it's like not quite straight in places. So I'm just repeatedly stamping the word hello across the panel um, using the lines of my misty paper to help me keep everything more or less straight. Once I'd finished stamping that I cut out the excess paper from the back of my speech bubble. Um, I used the craft knife to get the little bits and pieces away but I did mostly use my scissors off camera to get most most of it off. I'm going to stamp my main sentiment into the speech bubble. This is the hello from the quirky sentiment stamp set. Initially I was going to choose my favourite things black licorice hybrid ink which is my go-to black ink but I'm not sure if it needs re-inking or something it wasn't wasn't giving as good of a coverage as I wanted so I swapped to Alter News Jet Black Dye Ink and just used an acrylic block to stamp that into the speech bubble and it fits very nicely. Then I'm going to play around and see how I want to arrange things on the card and I have this parrot that I coloured up when I made um, a previous project which I did have a video for so there will be a link to that in the top right hand corner. I coloured two parrots at the same time so I had this one left over. So I just fussy, fussy cut it off screen and it's ready to go on this card. To help differen differentiate my decorative panel from the card base because they're both white backgrounds I edged it with black ink just to help um, Hope it stand out a bit better and I put it on the card base before it had dried so it did leave a bit of a smudge and I just went in with my sand eraser to clean that up. Although it probably wouldn't have mattered too much because the panel is going to be going in that same place anyway so it would have covered most of it up. But a sand, a sand eraser is definitely a good tool to have if you, like me, tend to get a bit messy when crafting. I'll pop up my decorative panel on foam tape and again I'm using the grid lines to try and get this straight. And I think I actually did a fairly good job for a change. I'm normally very bad at getting my things straight on my cards but this time it worked out okay. I'll put some more foam tape on the back of the speech bubble but I only want it where it will be hanging over the edge of that panel. And then before adding my para I felt like he needed some kind of grounding. He was a bit lost otherwise. So I took the envelope from the Brush Hearts stamp set and I'm just masking off one edge of it and I will stamp that to make a kind of a branch of sorts for him to sit on. I actually masked the wrong edge to start with so then I had to swap it around and 
then I had it in the right place, otherwise he would have been too low down on the panel. So once I stamped that, I could add my little parrot. I just used some liquid glue on the back of the parrot. I actually put a bit too much of this Tombow Mono Multi liquid glue, but I was able to kind of pick up the rest. And if you get any bits that squish out, you can use an adhesive eraser to pick that up. And that finishes my card. It's a very clean and simple card this time around, but I, I like the way it turned out and I hope you do too. If you did like it, you can click the like button and let me know or leave a comment below and tell me what you think of it. There is a discount code on screen now for if you would like to save some money on your Skull and Crossbuns order, if you'd like to get any of the products I used for today's card. The products used are also listed in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. If you've not yet subscribed, you can click the button on screen to subscribe and the notification bell down below will let you know when I post a new video so you don't miss out. There are two other videos on screen that you might be interested in. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next time. Bye!